you're anything like me, then fast food has probably been a staple in your life since you were a kid. I don't think I know one person that wasn't excited when mommy or daddy pulled into one of those drive through windows on your way home. I used to love getting my, probably chicken nuggets, my fries, and my craft vodka I me. Mean, Sprite. And to top it all off, you get a toy. You telling me I get to eat piss poor quality but still good tasting food, topped off with an early preview of what it would be like to sip dark liquor, and I get a toy? Wh where do I sign? Oh, wait, I'm a kid. I don't have to sign, nor do I have to pay, nor do I have to worry about anything. Yay! And if you were lucky, they would have those indoor play things that you could run around in after you finished your meal. You couldn't tell me I wasn't at Disney World or Chuck E. Cheese in those tubes. And where I grew up, my Disney World and Chuck E. Cheese looked something like this. Maybe we'd go to Chuck E. Cheese once a year if it was somebody's birthday. So you gotta understand, it does not get too much better than this. But alas, things change for what you think might be the better, but in reality, turns out to be for the worst. You get older, moms get angrier, dads are still on their side quests. George Bush and Barack Obama are no longer in office. Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and Kanye West drop on the same year and it's like nobody cares. <sighs> More importantly for the sake of this video, you realize just how truly mid fast food is. Like, it's really, really bad. Similar to many of us, as it was around longer, the soul got sucked right out of it. And I don't mean in a good way. I mean in a way to where it used to look like this, and now it looks like this. These people have to be taking out their anger on the food. Because how do you miss when applying cheese to the sandwich? Is this supposed to be some sort of sick knockoff ratatouille remake? Three blind rats? Uh, a tuli? I don't know. Either way, it's just not good. And I already know what some of you guys are fixing to say. You know you get what you pay for, right? And you know what? You're right. The only problem is, it's no longer 2007. That two cheeseburger meal is now $13.99. $13.99? To feast on some cattle that could probably bench press the very restaurant that it's about to be shipped off to? Gone are the days of the dollar menu when the McChicken was just $1. My McChicken is $1? or anything they're giving me there for that matter, you can put the cheese on top of the buns and make a smiley face out of the ketchup and put a pickle on it. I don't care. But I'm just not gonna spend $13.99 for my stomach to feel like those cattle that I mentioned earlier look. And if the restaurant is bad, you can always go to their competitors, right? Wrong, because they're not doing that much better. Think I'm lying? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you stepped into a clean KFC? Go ahead, I'll wait. Never, that's when. But when that building breaks down, there is the stone that the builder refused. The visual, the inspiration that made Lady sing the blues, the spark that makes your idea right. The same spark that lights the dark so that you could know your left from your right. I am the bow and the box, the bullet, and the gun, the but the thick. Chick-fil-A, ladies and gentlemen, the pinnacle of fast food. I have not eaten, slept, number one, number two, dated, or spent a long time the same since eating at this establishment just truly has changed me for the better. I can count the amount of times that I've eaten at another fast food restaurant on one hand since the first time I've eaten at Chick-fil-A. It was mainly Shake Shack though. Shake Shack's still pretty good. That's like the only other good fast food restaurant. The other ones can go. Chick-fil-A's superiority over every other fast food establishment that it's in competition with ultimately comes down to five things. But first, nothing is perfect, right? We gotta talk about the bad things. 
the first bad thing about Chick-fil-A. That they're closed on Sundays. Oh my god. POV. It's a lovely sunny Sunday afternoon. You're out skateboarding with the guys, hitting wicked shreds and shit. Gnarly, your friend says to you as you do a 280 nose dive, kick flip, whatever you cool kids do nowadays on your little skateboards. You suddenly start to get hungry. You're like, hmm, you know what'd be nice right now? Some Chick fil A. Hmm. Your friends agree with you. They get down on their knees and praise you for bringing up such a beautiful idea. Oh my gosh, how could you even come up with something so marvelous? But then, you get hit with this crippling feeling in your stomach. Ah! No need, you say to yourself as you realize something is seriously wrong. You slowly pull out your phone, look down to see what day it is, and to your shock, it's Sunday. Damn it. Now I gotta eat at Shake Shack. Things like this have happened to me too many times. No, I wonder. I never really looked into it. Why does Chick-fil-A close on Sundays? It's... It's... Beautiful. Now I want to eat here even more. But this does not come without its costs. They are missing out on a whopping 1.2 billion dollars because they refuse to be open on a Sunday. But Chick-fil-A, please consider opening up on that Sunday. Take back that 1.2 billion dollars. Maybe that competition will inspire companies to get a little less creative with how they screw up my meals. But let me not be selfish. Them being closed on Sundays really isn't all that bad. Which really means that there's not truly anything wrong with Chick-fil-A. Worst thing I could probably say if I was really nitpicking was one time I went there kind of late. It was around closing, and they forgot to give me my complimentary shoe cleaning with my number two and pepper jack. But I'll let that rock, because they're usually always consistent. But now that we got past the impossible, let's get into the five things that makes Chick-fil-A superior to every fast food restaurant. Number one, the quality of the food. Ain't really much to say about this that isn't self-explanatory. The quality of the food is just amazing. I'd even go as far as to say, if you went to like a three or four star restaurant and brought me back food from that restaurant, it would be on par with Chick-fil-A. I said what I said. The chicken actually tastes like chicken. Not any of that pink mystery shit that McDonald's got exposed four years back. and Not any of that spongy, weird rib meat stuff that Burger King serves you for a dollar. No, no, no. Can we please talk about that for a second? How is it that Burger King is able to sell you 10 chicken nuggets for a dollar 49? A company has to be able to make money selling these products. So if they're able to sell you 10 nuggets for a dollar 49, there can't be any chicken in them nuggets. I I'm just not buying it. Companies tend to have one maybe two items on their menu that's worth coming back for. Chick-fil-A does not miss. The fries are top tier. The chicken noodle soup does not taste like it came out of a fast food restaurant. And the mac and cheese. Oh my god, the mac and cheese. Guys, in case you couldn't tell, I'm black. <laughs> what the fuck? I say that to say that whether you are from the south whether you are from the Caribbean or whether you are from Africa, you guys know that good mac and cheese ain't something you find at the nearest gas station. It is hard to come by. Some people even refuse to eat it if it doesn't come from their family. So when I say this, just know I mean it. Chick-fil-A has some of the best mac and cheese that I have ever had. I'll leave it at that. If you have not had it, just go try it. For those of you that have had it, you can verify. That shit ain't nothing to play with. And as far as quality in Chick-fil-A goes, I just don't feel like shit after eating it. And it shows. After I'm done eating, I don't look like I just got done greasing Vin Diesel's head. The next reason Chick-fil-A solos every other restaurant is taste. Which, 
kind of already talked about in the last segment because quality and taste go hand in hand but i had to highlight the big haymaker that they have in their possession they're oh so succulent sauce now i'm not gonna lie the first time i had their food i was like it's pretty good it's decent but i couldn't help but think man something's missing and my friend looks over to me and he's like you doing it wrong nigga you eating a sandwich with no sauce nigga you eating a sandwich with no cheese nigga what you doing nigga so i'm like you know what this needs a bev Boy. so i went to go grab some sauce and another sandwich with cheese on it this time and the girl at the register i'm not gonna lie she was a 10 so you already know what i had to do yep that's right make random conversation loosely related to the subject at hand to boost my ego and making me feel like I can talk to girls. And no, I did not get her number. So I ask her, I'm like, you feel me ma so like, I could get some sauce? And she's just like, yeah, like, what kind of sauce do you want? And I'm like, shit, what kind of sauce you like? She tells me all of them. And I'm just thinking all of them, damn nasty so i jokingly ask her for all of them and to my surprise she not only gives me every single sauce but she gives me two and to add everything nice to that sugar and spice when i walk off she tells me to let her know which one i thought was my favorite <laughs> y'all think she was feeling me or nah but let's get back on track the ranch mouthwatering the buffalo sauce orgasmic and we can't forget the holy grail of sauces, the sauce to end all sauces, very cleverly named Chick-fil-A sauce. The way it just assaults your mouth with a plethora of flavors, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of sour, combined with the savory taste from the chicken. Man, it's like that episode of Jimmy Neutron where bro made a candy that had every flavor and had the whole town begging him to make more. But unlike that Jimmy Neutron episode, and the majority of Jimmy Neutron episodes if I'm being honest, nothing goes wrong. Because they're not stingy with their sauces, you'll get more if you ask. Which brings us into the next reason why Chick-fil-A is amazing. They have the best service out of any fast food restaurant. Time and time again do you hear about it. Time and time again do you see memes about it. And time and time again do they just deliver. These people are committed to not only making sure that you've had a good meal, but a good day, good life, and even a good burial. Fuck it. Just look at this man's face. Is this the face of someone that tells you no? Is this the face of someone that doesn't want you to have the best chicken sandwich that you've ever shoved into your mouth? And look at this guy. It's very possible that he woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. It's very possible that he's battling a divorce right now. But you know what? He goes to work, puts on his uniform, puts on his amazing signature Chick-fil-A smile, and he serves. And you know what, man? I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you. But I'ma still need two buffalo sauces, please. Skippy. Chick-fil-A workers are the embodiment of what it should be to be a stand-up citizen. As parents, I think we should be thinking less about sending our kids off to college and more about potentially sending them to work for Chick-fil-A because these people are just doing an amazing job. Come on, parents. Come on. Also, can we just throw in the fact that Chick-fil-A is always clean? I ain't never seen a dirty Chick-fil-A. That is a plus that you do not see too often nowadays, as I mentioned earlier. The worst conflict you'll have to go through at Chick-fil-A is whether you want Kobe Jack, Pepper Jack, or Cheddar Cheese. And that's not a conflict for me. Pepper Jack, baby, all day. Number four, consistency. Even though Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays, ironically enough, they have the least amount of off days out of every other restaurant. And don't let that go over your head either. Every time you go there, everything I mentioned on this list so far will be on point. Ain't really too much more to say in that regard, but Oscar Fittipaldi 2024. And the last but certainly not the least, as to why Chick-fil-A is superior to every other fast food restaurant. 
simply because the other fast food restaurants just suck, all right? They they suck, all right? That that's that's number 5. Everyone else sucks. So what I'm actually going to do in this segment is I'm going to name off the competition and I'm going to tell you why Chick-fil-A is superior and why the competition sucks. Starting with McDonald's. I'm not going to waste my time on it too much because the first segment of this video where I'm just chatting about being a kid and how fast food fell off, a lot of that was aimed at McDonald's. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm not going to talk about that too much. Burger King. They're not prominent for anything, especially the thing that they're named after. So their existence is pretty much just pointless because you can literally get something better in every category everywhere else. Wendy's. Oh my gosh, Wendy's. This one especially gets me mad because at one point, Wendy's is like what Chick-fil-A is now. You knew every time you went there, you were going to get something good. Their nuggets were amazing. Their chicken sandwiches were amazing. The barbecue sauce, oh my gosh. If you guys know about Wendy's old barbecue sauce, just let me know down below. Because a lot of people told me that I was bugging when I found out that Wendy's had a new barbecue sauce. They told me I was crazy, but I know I'm not bugging. They changed that sauce. They did. If this picture makes you feel good in any way, then what's understood don't got to be explained. KFC. Unpopular opinion, KFC was never really good. Their food has been consistently ass since the day that I had it for the first time, and their restaurants, as I mentioned earlier, have just never been clean. There's no reason to go to KFC, because, let's be honest guys, Popeyes has better chicken. I don't know why we're lying to ourselves trying to make this some sort of debate, as if everyone who's had both does not agree that Popeyes is better. Let's stop lying to ourselves, guys. Let's stop doing it. Popeyes. Now. I'll cut Popeye some slack because, I'm not gonna lie, that chicken sandwich hype died real fast because they're not consistent. But, the reason I'm gonna give Popeye some credit is because they got me through some hard times. You don't know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna just leave this here. Nothing more gotta be said. If you know, you know. And the last two ones we're gonna be talking about are Taco Bell and Chipotle. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, hey Sparky, why do you have these two under the same category? And it's not for the reason you guys think. Trust me. The reason that I have these two under the same category is because of what they do to your bowels. It's, it's simply unforgivable. I'll just go ahead and leave you guys with live footage of what happened after a poor man ate nothing but Taco Bell and Chipotle for an entire day. And yes, this is real footage. Haters gonna say it's fake. <laughs> Oh, damn. Jesus, my heart. I gotta take it easy. I apologize, okay? Please, please. Somebody put me out of my misery. <laughs> Have mercy on my soul. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh, all I got for you guys today. Um, In case you guys couldn't realize, I'm not that good at ending videos. So uh, check it. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your eye your bright. The same spark that lights a door so that you can know you left from your right. I am the bound in the box, the bullet, and the gun, the inner glow that lets you know to call your brother's son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'm a man, a soldier, till the ball is one. Chop, 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 doo 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 flip. I want the, want the, want the, want the, want the, want the. Wah, 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 wah. Chop, chop, chop. Woo!